All right, so now that we've got everything into place here, um, we can go ahead and connect our power. Now the only reason why I've got these separated like this is so that um, when I want to split the halves, I can easily do so. Because uh, I'm going to have the Raspberry Pi 3 sitting into this cavity and then held into place here. Um, so that way when I separate, the only things that I have to separate are these cables here. Now if you're doing a L1, uh, L2, R1, and R2, um, on my previous builds I also did this as well so I can easily split the halves and uh, be perfectly a-okay with with everything I don't have to desolder it's just a couple of screws and it comes apart so uh, that's the whole reason why I did that so now we just need to solder power and everything back into place and give everything the good old power on test just to make sure everything is working because um, it's always always good to test your work no matter how far you are in your build um, just to make sure you don't have any broken parts or something not soldered right it, it's all it's all the little things and once once you do all the little things everything comes together quite nicely so on the raspberry pi 3 the uh the power is going to be pp2 or pp1 um, and then the ground is pp5 so let's get that soldered on real quick Make sure you don't hit any of the uh, the ground spots, because if you hit a ground spot, uh, at least for the five volt uh, power, um, you're gonna have a bad time. It's it's basically not gonna power on. You may get a spark. You you might not, but it's not going to power on. So the video is going to be. Uh, uh, test point 24, so PP24. So we've got that. Now it is onto the USB. Oh, and it looks like my USB connection came undone. So I'm going to fix that and then come back with everything soldered back up and then uh, plugged in for a test.